Shortly before the start of OSU and Iowa State, Mike Gundy went on with Dave Hunziker and announced the three quarterback rotation, a thing of the past, at least for this game, and it's Alan Bowman's team. His first task, the conference opener on the road at Iowa State. No score in the first. Bowman on the design run shows off the wheels. That's an 18-wheeler type wheels getting into space. Uses every bit of that frame to get across the plane, goes to the sideline. Whoo, seven nothing pokes, but some suspect play from the pokes secondary. No one picks up Jalen Knoll. Rocco Becht hits him. That's an easy 38 yard touchdown that ties it at seven. Now down 14 to seven. Bowman hits Jaden Nixon in stride down that OSU sideline. A 60 yard touchdown. Longest score for the pokes this season. Entering the game, they had no plays over 40 yards. They had two in this one. That one ties it at 14. 27 cycles at halftime. We're not sweating the over. Third quarter, again, some trouble in the secondary. Cameron Epps slips, allows Daniel Jackson in for a touchdown. 27-17 Cyclones in front. Less than two to play. Pokes trail by seven. Bowman leading a drive, but his pass is behind the receiver, and it's picked off, and that puts it away as the Pokes fall to 0-1 in conference, 2-2 two two on the season after the 34-27 loss. Bowman two touchdowns to go with those two picks. OSU was 0-1 in Big 12 play for the first time in four years with a tough stretch ahead. Uh, I'm not worried about their morale. I'm not worried about their team chemistry. The, the thing that I have to do is be honest with them. My job is to look and see what happened if we came up short, what went wrong, and how to fix it. Guys are trying to protect. Quarterback was running. Defense trying to make plays. I thought we competed. As long as we do that, we'll continue to get better each week.